Hello guys, uh, Evans here once again and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the February March um, 2018 ICC ICT paper 2 1. In the last video, we ended up step number 24 and in this video, we start with step number 25. So step 25 says um, you are going to prepare a departmental telephone directory. So produce a, a new report from all the data, which one includes a new field for, uh, calculated at runtime with the title external phone, and then displays the current, uh, rather the full external um, telephone number for the member of staff by fix, fixing the um, internal four digit uh, telephone numbers with plus seven seven five three six. For example, if the internal telephone number was nine 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 nine, this number should display as plus seven five uh, three six. Um, 9999 okay then the next one is includes and staff who work in the biology or chemistry departments okay so only staff biology or chemistry department and um, all this can be done in the um, in the query like I said you need to find which fields can be done in the query and which one can be done in the report so mine these ones can be done in the, in the uh, query and then these ones should be done in the report you don't even need to waste time okay so this one should be done in the report. You don't even need to waste time. Okay, so um, working through this, I remember um, some of the students that I take for online um, uh, tuition. Um, I, I, I've shown them how to crack down this question um, by highlighting um, from the question paper. You highlight um, which ones, which which questions you can do with um, the query and which questions you can do with the report. And when they just come across a question like this, the first thing that they do is first thing they sort out what can be done in the query and what can be done in the report. And I see it it it, it just cuts the question um, the points into half, and they find it easy then to look at everything and you have mixed like what can I do now? Okay, so it's 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 very interesting. Okay, and by the way, I do run um, I I still run the um, the online tuition. I do get in touch with me with me if you want um, um, to take classes with me online um, at a fee of course um, a monthly fee um, right now the current students I have they um, paying uh, $150 uh, a month and that means um, they meet me uh, 16 times in a month uh, each time they meet me that's an hour so they have 16 hours where they work with me fully on uh, both um, uh, the practical papers as well as the theory uh, papers okay so that's just the by the way thing in fact <laughs> call it an, adv an advertisement <laughs> yeah i mean who knows this is this is my channel this is my video so i pay no fee to advertise in my video <laughs> all right guys okay so um let's continue so we've done with this uh breaking of this um question into part, two parts and now let's go ahead and do that so the first thing that we're going to do is to actually show these fields um, in this order. Okay, so we start with this. Let me just put the color, use pink. So let's start with this one. Okay. Uh -huh. So we go to um, create and then um, let me just close up this one. Save it, yes. And then let's go to um, query design. We select all the three tables and we add them. Now we need to start selecting the fields that we want. So the fields that we want um, show, um, uh, let's see, show only first name, family name, job description. Okay, so first name, family name. So it's first name, family name, and job description. Okay, in that order. So um, then you have department, then telephone, and external phone. So department, then telephone, and then the one is external phone, which is a field calculated at runtime. So this is the new field here, calculated at runtime. So let's put it there. External phone, external phone, okay. Then for uh, a colon, and then we have now the criteria for calculating this one. So displays the full uh, external telephone number of the member of staff by prefixing the internal four digit number with it. So this one guys, um, prefixing, which means um, before the existing number, you add this code, okay? So the existing number is this one. 
So before that, we need to add this code. Um, in programming, we call this as string concatenation. This is the joining of two strings. So in other words, what they're asking is that join this string and this string and as this one. Now I'm calling them as strings. Um, you guys may not um, be conversant with the word string because you are guys doing ICT. But the guys who are doing programming, uh, you know that string is the same thing as text. So when I say string, I'm just referring to the text, okay? So in other words, we declared the telephone number as text. And so this one should be also text. So to join these two uh, together, they should be um, text. So this is not a number per se. We need to convert it as text. And to convert this one as text, we simply put it in double quotes. Then it will be regarded as, okay? So what we need to do, and, and the other thing also that we need to do is that um, to join two numbers in um, to join two numbers in 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 Access or in 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 Excel, um, you can use the plus symbol. So the plus symbol can be used to join two numbers or two not two numbers but two text string or two strings or two text. Okay. So um, without wasting much of our time, let's let's, let's do that. Um, it will make more sense when you, when we do. So the first one is plus seven seven, and then five three six. Let's just confirm that we have the correct number, seven seven five three six, and then we need to put this into in double quotes. So remember, for accessing a field name, we put in square brackets, but this one we put it in double quotes. So double quotes like that. Then we've converted that number into a text or into string. And then when I say plus, okay, and then now I can get the text, the other text. Now the other text is coming as a telephone number. So we just say plus telephone. Okay, so when you do this, that means that your uh, telephone is already text and you've converted that number into text and then you are adding two text. So when you add two text or two strings, the result should look something like this. Bingo. So notice that it is this number that we've added at the end at the beginning and then the telephone number that was existing at the end this is the telephone number here and notice that we've added there okay so guys if you don't understand this please go ahead and just take it back a bit further i mean back 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 rewind it and it'll make much more sense i cannot overemphasize uh, string uh, manipulation or string concatenation the joining of two strings together so remember that you are first of all changing that number that you have given which starts with plus Seven. That's why telephone number was initially declared as uh, not declared. <laughs> I'm tired of talking programming. Was now initially assigned and uh, the data type as uh, text. Okay. So for now it is as it is. Okay. So well, well, that's good. So this is done. Now we need to get the criteria for the staff who, who work in the biology or chemistry department. So now we need to um, to go to department. Write biology or chemistry please don't use the or here um because some students can write biology here they write biology here and then they write chemistry here no, no. what this means is that it goes through all um, um work with biology so if you had another criteria for example job description as maybe engineering and stuff like that it will go through all the biology with engineering and then it will come and go through all the chemistry again without engineering. Okay, so this is very important. So this all works with this entire criteria here. Okay, so this criteria is the same criteria, uh, not the same, but this the alternative criteria. So if you have one criteria here, then you can have the alternative criteria. Okay, and everything here else apply. Okay, so done with this one. The next thing that we're supposed to do, uh, so you can prove it to take the query to see if it's running. So there you go with biology and chemistry. So it's running. So the next thing that you need to do now is to go to your report. Okay, so we done the query. The remaining part is in green. And you see, guys, how easy it is actually to break it into. So it shows you that you are done with this part. The next thing now, shift to the report. Okay, so save it. I'll save it as query number 26. I don't know if it's 26. Oh, let me just verify. 25. Query 25. 25 query okay just to give me to differentiate it from the other query um, close it up and then now we can go to create the report wizard 
and then we are using uh, query 20 um, 25 all the data in there next and next next and then don't change anything here as usual and then go to um, um, uh, orientation is supposed to be orientation is supposed to be okay so orientation is portrait and it's supposed to be single um, page one okay so orientation is portrait and single page wide so it's already set that's fine and then the the report title you can add the report title here and uh, the title departmental telephone directory departmental departmental so i don't know if it is um capital nope so departmental telephone directory Okay, so that should be fine. And modify the report. Okay, so that is done. So now the next thing, just go ahead and view it in layout view so that you, your information is fully visible. Okay, so as it is, the information is not fully visible. So we're going to um, drag this one this side a little bit. And then just to create some space and drag this one. Oops, and do. Uh, pick up this one alone and drag it um, so somebody was asking me how do you select all the um, the fields like how do you select this one together with this one or how do you select this one and this one if you want to move them well the 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 thing that you need to do is to um, highlight hold control key on your keyboard and um, okay, let's undo this one hold control key on your keyboard and then you can um, click on the column that you want. Okay. So I'm just resizing it. Okay. And then drag it. So just make sure that the fields, the data is not cut in any way. Okay. Okay. Just do this. Uh huh. Uh huh. And this one we need to enlarge it, so drag it from this end. Drag it like that, so that should be fine. Drag it, and that should be good. Okay, so your fields are fully visible. The next thing that you need to do, so they are fully visible. Then that, then now let's do the sorting. So the sorting, uh, we start with first of all, uh, sort by department in ascending order. So let's go here. Um, if you scroll, if you go to um, um, wait, where is it? Is this one? Go to um, you can go to layout view if you want. Uh, and I can't see sort at the bottom. So if you can find sort, just go to um, design, okay, and group and sort it's here, and then add a sort. So we are sorting first of all by department um in ascending order so department add on top it's true then add another sort this time we are sorting by um family name in ascending order so family name um a on top that's fine and then add another sort because there are three sorts um then this time sort by um first name in ascending order first name in ascending order so first name a on top that's fine good so done with the sorting we're done with the sorting we can highlight this just to exclude it we're done with this one um then we need to include center number and candidate number on the report now this one is on the report so we are going to do that so guys the other thing that you can know whether to put it on the report footer or in the report um, um footer or in the page footer is actually if you have multiple pages if you have multiple pages your name should appear on the other page as well the other pages okay um you can't just put it on the report um footer and you think you're safe no you need to also put it on the um on the um a page footer so that your work should appear there so here is chikasa evans um zm556 and 0001 okay and that should be done 
um I'm, i don't need this one anyway the date and time like that i don't need it um not even the page uh number i don't need it because i just have one page there's no need for me to have that so that is good um if you view it yeah, whether in print preview or what you should see your name appearing there and your report looks somewhat good and make sure that all these are fully visible and they're in the order that is given and that um, um, they work um, is good. Okay. So uh, that uh, does it for that. So that's your eight marks and make sure that your printout has your name and center and kind of number and they go with 30 marks for data manipulation. And guys, this is, well, I cannot overemphasize this. These are free marks, guys. Okay. These are free marks. You just need to know what to do at what time. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video when we look at MailMage. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, like, share, whatever, do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>